JDCap26 here. I just do tips and fears and hobbies. And uh, we're going to do an unboxing, actually, of this uh, uh, soldering gun. And uh, it's got a lifetime warranty card right in it. So I would save the package. Uh, I think you can store it, store the soldering gun back in the package after it cools down. So let's see if we can open this up. And uh, get stuff out of here. See what we got here. Okay, this is a um, soldering sucker. You uh, load it like that, you push it in, and then when you're on the board, you click it and you suck the solder up if you have extra solder, you know, on the board. That's a very good one, actually. Um, I'm going to put that in my kit over here and uh, save your lifetime warranty. Okay, and uh, take this out of the bag, All right. and we'll open this up. Here's the solder. Uh, let's open up the solder uh, right away because it takes a while to do. Let's see if we get a knife here, and uh, break this open. Got a little uh, cellophane around it, and uh, it's attached right there. Put that in the bottom there. <clears throat> Let's see. I like the soldering gun because it has a shorter throw on it than other soldering guns that are out there. I have another one you've seen before that's a longer, and uh, I like this one a little bit better um, for close work, actually. So we're going to pull that off. I'm not going to save the packaging. Uh, actually, they give you some tweezers. They give you a curved tweezer and a straight tweezer. Watch out. These are very, very sharp when you use them. So we're going to put those, again, to the side in the box. <clears throat> and uh, we'll uh, unhook the uh, wire here. The twist tie. The famous twist tie. This one's not done like they do with the, the bread when they do the bread. It's crazy when you try to take the bread, uh, twist tie off the bread. It's got do's and don'ts in the back. You may want to, you may want to save this, put it back in uh, this package right here. And uh, I got rid of the plastic part and save that. Um, so. What you want to do is it goes on like this, okay, and you have to take this screw off right here, this nut, and uh, that just comes off, and the uh, screw comes out, the bolt actually, and you run this through here. Okay, and then you put it back on like this, like that. I'm sorry if I'm not showing you correctly. And then put the bolt through as best you can. Um, when you're using this gun, make sure you watch you don't lose the nut because sometimes after a while using it, the uh, nut comes loose and that can fall off and you can lose it. You just want to put it on there as best you can. Yeah, about so it moves, so it still moves. So it's got another piece of tape here. We have to uh, lift off. Get it like that and lift that off. And straighten it out. So, so it goes on like this, so you want to have the wire feeding from the bottom, so it snaps on like, like this, and you have to feed the wire in the gun.
until it grabs. There we go. So you feed it in until it grabs. And see how it's turning the wheel until it comes out. Let's see, is this a... I don't believe this white part comes off. That stays on there. I would, I think. Yeah, I think that stays on there. Let me see. Let's look at the instructions just to be sure. You never know. While I read, just be patient. If you have a problem, it has an email down below um, to write to. It doesn't say anything there. It doesn't say anything there. So let's keep feeding it. As the wheel turns. Here we go. So. Okay, just bend it down a little bit. And then it'll reach the tip. So I'm just about, I would say about two millimeters away from the tip. We have to plug it in and we're gonna um, heat it up and then we'll show you some soldering. Okay, so what we do is we put our hand over the, the heat and see how hot it is. And it's fairly hot. And then what you wanna do to test it is see if it'll, it'll contact. And it's still not hot enough to uh, melt that solder so we'll wait up wait a little bit longer okay so the button you have to push down like this to turn it on with a little circle and uh, let's see if we can do some soldering here and uh, it's nice oh that's nice so easy take it away let it cool a little more right there you're tinning the wire and actually um, that works very nicely let's see if we can do the other one that's actually missed the uh, point here so we got to get the tweezers out in that wire that one's done too um, this uh, wire setup is for um, my uh, my favorite Martian ship so that did it very well so the how you turn it off is right here and you want to get like a sponge and a, you know you solder and occasionally wipe it on the sponge not on your hand I'm just showing you you get a wet sponge and you wipe it. I keep it on a dish. Okay. Um, very nice. Sometimes you have to redirect the wire. Um, that's no big problem. I think it's just the way it this this tip is right here. I can't really touch it because it's hot. So uh, those wires are done, and I just have to slip them slip these parts over. What I do is I fold it like this. I fold it like that. And then I slip the part in. Work the wire into the into the heat sink. I keep saying heat sink. It's it's heat shrink. You just pull it over. Pull it over like that. So it looks like that. And unplug your soldering iron right away after you get done soldering don't forget just unplug it as soon as you're done soldering unplug it uh, that's the uh, Eclox soldering iron uh, the close version and I highly recommend it and I will put a link in the description below uh, where you can get this item 
I hope you're having a good day and stay safe, stay well, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.